Hey guys, welcome back to my StarCraft 2 weekend cast. Of course, uh, today we are going to be uh, commentating between a 2 versus 2 game. It's going to be pretty interesting. We do have uh, T and Scott on uh, the bottom right corner of Ruins of Tarnonis. And uh, he is obviously the light uh, blue, you can say, Protoss player. And on the bottom left, his uh, second team player being T and Dark Force as the dark uh, blue Zerg player. And on the top left, we do have the Bling as uh, the orange uh, Protoss player and of course on the top right of Tar Tarsonis we do have Stefano our famous Zerg player this is a uh, two versus two map so uh, this is gonna be I mean two versus two game it's gonna be pretty interesting to see exactly what is gonna be happening between these players uh, in general so so far of course the overload by uh, Dark Force is moving forward uh, TN Sock is uh, really doing nothing much except just uh, droning up maybe sending out uh, that first pylon he is preparing that wall off for both him and uh, Dark Force so he is pretty much going to be dealing with of course uh, the wall off as TN Sock is uh, really the Protoss player so so far the Zerg really isn't uh, much of uh, making any wall off especially in the beginning so uh, it's going to be left to him to deal with that. Uh, the bling obviously is probably going to be going for that wall as well so it should be sort of in sync in terms of what's going on. No he is not. He's going in for that initial scout so that Zerg is moving down. Of course the Overlord by Stefano as well is moving down. We do have the spawn pool already coming online for uh, Stefano and uh, that gas extractor early on in the game. So interesting to see how exactly he's going to be going with that. Is he going to be going in for that metabolic boost initially just to get that Zergling additional speed online. It's going to be pretty interesting exactly how he's going to use that initial gas from the game itself. Of course, uh, Dark Force is sort of in sync with Stefano though. If we go to the units, we do have 13 to 14 drones. So Stefano just a little bit behind in terms of drone production. But uh, it is really, really on par so far between both the players though. Uh, the Protoss player, the Bling, is going up for that second pylon in the back. So he's probably going to be placing more uh, units and buildings in accordance to that. We do have a couple of more scouts coming down. TN Dark Force sending both his actual overlords the first overlord just about to scan uh, the blings base and view the blings base here comes that probe by the bling they should pretty much be able to spot everything here and he can clearly see that uh TN Force did go for that spawn pool first. Of course, we do have the metabolic boost. The same thing applies for Stefano as well, going for that metabolic boost first. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's a very sort of uh, quiet game in the beginning, though. It's not a very long game, so we should see quite an early on push by uh, one or the other team. And uh, that should pretty much end the game, but it'll be interesting to see exactly how it's going to break down. The Overlord being placed here, just to scan that higher position to be able to see if that debris is going to be taken out. And maybe a flank unit is going to be sent across the actual map itself. So far, uh, nothing really happening though. Finally, we do have a small amount of units coming down uh, by TN Dark Force. And uh, I do presume, if uh, not, Stefano is placing down uh, that notification to show the bling that there are some units coming across the map so here comes here come those units is going to be spotted yes those units are spotted by stefano stalker of course gets moved down in place and a couple of zerglings as well to counter at the act those zerglings zerglings of course being moved back and here comes that overlord he really doesn't want that overlord to come and scan and he is really placing those notifications he doesn't want that overlord to scan his actual base itself i do believe it's going to be a little bit too late though uh, TN Dark Force is probably going to be moving down with that Overlord. Stefano is, just by uh, with his actual notifications to his teammate being the Bling, he is really trying to stop that Overlord from scanning his base itself. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what exactly Stefano is going with that actual build. He's going for that Bailing list, so he's going to be going for that early on Bailing Bust with uh, those Zerglings as well. So it's really in his interest to keep that Overlord away from his actual base itself. He's going to be going around. No, he's not. Here comes those Bailings, a couple of Bailings morphing in. So, and we do have, of course, a TN Dark Force as well, morphing in with those uh, bailings. And uh, this is going to be a push, of course, uh, by the bling and uh, Stefano. So far, that Overlord didn't even move down, so he has no clue that uh, Stefano is really on par with Dark Force as well, in terms of Zergling and bailing push. So, here comes uh, the push, finally, Stefano moving forward, and we do need those bailings to actually force uh, that bailing bust. So, it depends which one's going to go to the line, of course, some more bailings and another pylon in the front for the blink to be able to warp in with that gateway. Here comes the push, Bailing Bust is going for that pylon, of course. And uh, that pylon is going to drop, Force Field gets placed down, prevents that pylon from dropping, but he does manage to push a little bit forward. A little target fire for those Bailing, another Force Field is being placed down to prevent that push from his units themselves. And this is a very, very nice push by Stefano, even though it is proving not to be as effective as possible, but it is going to be prove quite a lot of damage. Stefano's units, of course, drop, but that doesn't prevent from Blink's units to be pretty much uh, left uh, un... un 
unchallenged, though they should pretty much mop up the rest of the base. And the bling is going to be going, of course, to final sending down more reinforcements around the base. And the and uh, the bling's stalkers are going directly for uh, that production line. And uh, Dark Force calls it a good game. And uh, that's it for game one between uh, TN Dark Force. Uh, Sock and uh, the Bling and Stefano. So of course the first game goes to the Bling and uh, Stefano for uh, the this game itself. So see you guys as always in game two and happy gaming. Bye.